Hello, my name is Beth Winspotten and I'm a lower sixth student at Bishop Easy's Grammar School. Bishop Vesey Grammar School was founded in 1527 by the Bishop John Vesey. The Bishop was an advisor of King Henry VIII, tutor to Princess Mary and close friend of Cardinal Wolsey. The 26th of October is still marked by the whole school as Founders Day. Alumni and current students attend a service at the Holy Trinity Church in Sutton Coldfield where Vesey is buried. John Vesey was born John Harmon in around 1462 to a yeoman farmer. The farmhouse still exists today in Ruffley near Sutton Coalfield. He was educated at Magdalen College, Oxford, and after his ordination became the rector of St Mary's Church, Chester. In 1527, Sutton Coalfield had fallen on hard times, and historians credit Vesey with rebuilding the town church's aisles, creating a marketplace, building 51 stone houses and founding the grammar school. Four of the houses remain and the grammar school is flourishing. John Vesey endowed just seven pounds to the school for local boys to be educated in grammar and rhetoric. Also in 1527, Vesey gained permission to enclose a large area of common land. He built a house where he occasionally lived and the land is now the site of Moor Hall, Hotel and Spa. The bishop protected the town further in 1528 and prevailed upon the king to grant a royal charter. This charter entrusted the government of the town to a warden and 24 local inhabitants. The group was known as the Warden Society of the Royal Town of Sutton Coalfield. The Royal Tudor Rose was also granted to the town in 1528, when a young woman from Sutton Coalfield shot dead a boar that was charging at the King. Since then, the school has developed and grown. It has several more buildings and a greater number of pupils. Now, the school boasts over 1,000 staff and students. Boarding was abolished in 1969 and in 1983 girls were admitted to the sixth form for the first time. Bishop Vesey's Grammar School now offers a wide academic curriculum along with a rich variety of sports and arts. But it is the school's long and interesting history that lies at the heart of its culture. This is Beth Winterbottom reporting from Sutton Coalfield for Mirador Television.